Lewis Hamilton is joining Ferrari in 2025. He still has one more year to go where he's going to be racing for Mercedes. Now he's preparing for the final season. Now the launch of the um, Mercedes W15 automobile, he spoke on how emotional it was being for him to leave, but he doesn't have any winnings. I mean, when he was w racing with McLaren, it's been reported that he won anywhere from 148 to 150 races, where he either came in first, second, or third place, which is something phenomenal. So he had to stop. Now, Mercedes is not as competitive for him. And it's making it real difficult. I mean, he's, he's a person that's been known to win races. As I said earlier, 148, or up to 148 races, where I came in first, second, and third place. This could be the major reason why he's leaving and going Ferrari. And in a way, I don't blame him. Because he has to win. You don't want to go or retire and get it to the, get to the end of your legacy and not have any winnings. It's got to change, folks. Now, Lewis Hamilton announced leaving Mercedes and going to Ferrari, which sounds like a good deal. You know, Ferrari has been known for winning races, but they've been having some difficulty recently. And Lewis would just be the, I, what, as you would say, he would be the right part of the recipe to make that happen. And so many people wonder, why is he going Ferrari? Now, Ferrari has not had a driver world champion since 2007. Which means a lot. Ferrari needs this, folks. And I'm sure Ferrari is going to reward him handsomely. And you know Lewis is going to bring in some winnings. I mean, Mercedes itself is known as a premium luxury automobile. And they've been known also for AMG and building performance cars, but not with the likes of Ferrari or McLaren or even Porsche. They're just, to me, and I don't know how that feels to you. You can also mention in the comments where you think it stands as far as with Lewis Hamilton. Now let's go back into the history of Lewis Hamilton. I mean, he's such a phenomenal guy. I mean, honestly, now Lewis Hamilton, also known as Sir Lewis, Carl Davison Hamilton, he was born in 1985, January 7th. He's a British race car driver, Formula One, folks. And of course, he was driving for Mercedes just recently, but he's been known to be driving for McLaren, as I mentioned earlier. Now, being born over there in England, put him in a good place. He has some good brain, good upbringing. I mean, his dad was there, as far as I can understand, his dad was there for him and raised him up and brought him up, brought up a champion, as you could say. Now, Lewis had his first entry in 2007 Australian Grand Prix. His first win was a Canadian it was a 2007 Canadian Grand Prix. And his last win was a Saudi Arabian Grand Prix in 2021. Now in 2023, he raced in Abu Dhabi. And he came in third place. Which was not something that he would normally do. I love Lewis Hamilton, man. I think he's a great guy. I think he knows how to race a car. He knows about racing. And I think that is just phenomenal. Him going to Ferrari is just, to me, just butter on a cake. Let's go back and look at his history. In 2006, he was with the GP2 Series, and from 2004 to 2005, he was a Formula 3 Euro Series. And in 2002, 2003, he was a Formula Renault, the UK, and 2003, the British Formula. And in 2002, he was a Formula Renault Euro Cup. And in 2001, the British Formula Renault Championship. What an awesome guy. I tell you. He was in a young driver program with Mercedes back in 1998. Now this Formula One driver 
before, like I said earlier, it was McLaren from 2007 to 2012. And he was the first black driver in McLaren. I mean, he's been doing some phenomenal things. And he's going to be highly missed, folks. I tell you. Thanks, guys, for watching. This is AO Creatrix. And uh, remember, like, share, and subscribe. And have a fantastic day.